Papua New Guinea, a tropical land with a highly diverse geography and population, more than a thousand different cultures speaking 850 different languages. I'm Celine Cousteau. I joined Healing Seekers on a research and filming expedition. This organization is devoted to exploring the most remote and biodiverse regions of the world. Amy Greeson leads them with a mission to document the indigenous cultures, to bring back educational information to schools and learn from the tribal healers about their vital knowledge of the native plants and how they use them to heal. We've gone from village to village and talked to each healer independently. Travel is difficult and slow, which underscores even more the isolation of these places from any kind of big cities. We began our trip up in the mountains and later continued by boat on the Sepik River. So it's been an arduous journey just getting to these different villages. We have a lot of scientists that are studying the species of plants, but not the medicinal properties of them, and not the indigenous knowledge of how to use those plants, which is why we wanted to go to these remote areas to capture that before you know it was lost. Amy really has gone the lengths to find out what the different properties of these plants are and collect samples for research back in the United States. The hope is that they discover pharmaceutical properties that can be used in Western medicine to really help people with cancer, AIDS, people with chronic illnesses, and even depression. If a use for a certain plant is found, healing seekers will then be able to work directly with the native communities in ways that will help them become more sustainable and prosperous, here in Papua New Guinea or elsewhere in the world where they have collected samples. The healers and their communities have been incredibly generous in sharing their knowledge but finding ways to compensate them is more complex. You know, reciprocity is, is a tough thing, especially as a nonprofit, because money is not the issue. We have no concept of what these people really need, if they need anything from us. And until you understand them and where they're coming from, you can't make a decision on what's good for people. Once you make that connection, then you can do greater works in the world, no matter what that is. <laughs> <laughs> Papua New Guinea is a beautiful country with beautiful people. There's a lot to be learned from their way of life, the peace of their close existence to nature away from the modernized world, and their knowledge of plants and their potencies could have a profound impact on the world, perhaps a cure or a new way of healing, and that potential is worthy of seeking.